You know, I wasn't even planning on doing this. I wasn't even planning on doing this at all. I wasn't planning on doing a video at all. I was just minding my own business when I got a couple of alerts on my phone and I had to suddenly react to this. So let me put this into context real quick. I'm a Minnesota Vikings fan. I've been a Vikings fan for going on 17 years now, and I get it. We've never won a Super Bowl. We've always been middle of the pack. We haven't been great. We haven't been awful. But whenever we have shown flashes of greatness, the Minnesota Vikings, they usually find a way to take your heart out and run it through the garbage disposal. I get that. I'm not here to brag about the success or lack thereof of the Minnesota Vikings organization. But here's what I am here to talk about. Yesterday, there was a preseason game, a preseason game. Minnesota Vikings played the Seattle Seahawks. Now, I haven't ha had a chance to watch this game. I'm going to watch it a little bit later because I'm trying to gauge what this team's going to be about uh, heading into next season. I'm a little bit pessimistic about this team, but that's a whole other conversation for a different day. Minnesota Vikings played the Seattle Seahawks yesterday, and I got some alerts on my phone that the Seattle Seahawks kicker, formerly Minnesota Vikings kicker Blair Walsh, made a 52-yard field goal, and then proceeded, proceeded to stare down and point at head coach of the Minnesota Vikings, Mike Zimmer. Who the hell do you think you are? So, and you know what? Before I even get into this more, they were talking about, oh, the reason why he did that is because he didn't appreciate all the taunting he got from the Vikings players that he considered friends for the last five years. I mean, it's football, but okay, Let, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that for a second. Let's get something straight real quick. Those that are familiar with me know that I've been calling for Blair Walsh's job the last two and a half years before he got cut. This dude forever has been a bum. He's been mentally weak. He's been soft. And every time you put him out there, he's just, he's just mentally fragile. I don't know if he's going to make a kick even extra points. So, so time out real quick. Forget the fact that last year, that before you got cut in the middle of this season... You, you got cut after making 75% of your field goals and 79% of extra points. Really? Oh, that's just an anomaly. That's just a one-time thing. Nah, the hell it ain't. No, the hell it isn't. The last two years before that, Blair Walsh, you've missed. Nine total kicks. That's extra points and field goals. You've missed nine total kicks in each of the last two years as a professional football kicker, as one of the highest paid kickers in the NFL. Who the hell do you think you are? And, and let's get this straight. The whole world learned about you after you missed that kick in the playoffs at what the nine freaking yard line? against the Seattle Seahawks that surely would have sent the Vikings into the next round, the NFC playoffs, you missed an open court layup, Blair Walsh, as one of the highest paid kickers in the league, an open court layup, and you threw up an air ball, and you're going to pump out your chest during a preseason game? Who the hell do you think you are? And you know what's funny? I was saying, I was like, man, I was calling in the 1500 ESPN, the ESPN radio station out in Minneapolis. I was like, look, I was talking to Mackie and Judd out there. I'm like, look, bring on competition. Why doesn't Rick Spielman bring on competition for Blair Walsh heading in the next season so that way he can earn his job outright? And every time when the media would ask Rick Spielman that, he would say, oh, no, we got confidence and we have confidence in Blair Walsh. He's our kicker and all this little politically politically correct talk that he'd give to dance around the question that he stinks but he doesn't want to admit the fact that he signed him to a long-term contract when he shouldn't have and the only time I mentioned Blair Walsh after he got cut in the middle of last year the only time I mentioned Blair Walsh is when referring to Rick Spielman and the mistakes he made in which I believe that if this season doesn't work out for the Minnesota Vikings he should be fired that's the only time I brought up uh, Blair Walsh is that he kept them on for too long but as far as his stats and how weak he is how softy I never brought it up I never brought it up and I wouldn't have you went to Seattle I'm moving on it's all good but you gonna sit here in a preseason game and I showed them wrong I certainly got my confidence back you're a bum you are soft and you know what's funny after that missed kick against the Seattle Seahawks in the playoffs 
Those elementary kids the next day, those elementary kids, those first graders, kindergartners, whatever grade they were at the time, they took time out of their day from learning the ABCs and the one, two, threes to draw pretty pictures for you to say, it's okay, Blair Walsh. We still believe in you and you're sitting there crying and, oh my God, I let my team down. You damn right. And you're going to sit here in a preseason game acting like you big and bad. You have lost your damn mind. You're soft. You're weak. You're Seattle's problem. Good riddance.